Hello and welcome back to another live stream and I'm so very happy to come live after a pretty long time. Happy Mahashivratri to all of you and in this video we are going to talk about signs of how you can recognize your true twin flame. So what is a twin flame? Who is a twin flame? A twin flame is someone who has the closest frequency with yours. They are someone who are simulated in a similar consciousness as yours. The consciousness from where you stream, the consciousness from where you think, the consciousness that really interests you, that is the same consciousness that interests them. Both of you are literally one and the same. And it's pretty difficult to recognize a twin flame if you try to recognize twin flame in terms of facial features or career aspect similarities or if you try to find the connection in terms of how you guys have evolved together over the course of time it's difficult to understand your twin flame on a superficial level so in order to truly recognize your true twin flame you need to truly recognize what is it that you truly truly desire when it comes to a relationship like you literally have to not care about what the society thinks you should think you don't have to care about how your relationship should look like you don't have to care about how your relationship should turn around but it's about focusing on what you prefer the moment you start to tap into what you prefer you start to be a match to someone who is your true twin flame and there isn't like 10 different twin flames with that one true twin flame you have that one person with whom you really really vibe with and that is the person you ultimately decide to settle for your twin flame is the reason why you could not settle in any other relationship your twin flame is the reason why the many relationship you thought why didn't it work out? It should have worked out. Didn't work out. Your twin flame is the reason you went through that phase of your ascension journey of wondering that why isn't it working out? Why isn't it clicking? Why is it not really vibing with truly with anyone out there? And that is because you were being prepared for your true twin flame. And it's a process of recognition and it will take time to recognize your true twin flame because it's a part of recognizing who you are unless and until you really know who you are or rather who you truly want to be finding your twin flame is like next to impossible because you cannot recognize your true twin flame unless and until you have been able to recognize your true self so in order to recognize your true twin flame you need to recognize your true self so who are you not the person who you have to be according to society not the person who you have to be because most people think you need to be that way not the person who you are in terms of your career not the person who you are in front of other people, but who are you within? What is it that truly fascinates you? What is it that you're truly intrigued about? What is it that makes you curious? What is it that you really, really admire? These are some questions that can help you understand what kind of connection this will be and who this person can be and what type of person it will be you need to be like crystal clear about 
what kind of a person is this what kind of a person am i truly desiring to attract and this is why for attracting a true twin flame having a love list having a clear cut understanding of what kind of partner you are attracting is so necessary and this video is especially for one of my client and just yesterday she was in a session with me and she was in this dilemma of wondering that who on earth is my twin flame why is my twin flame not coming and i really had to go live and share about this and definitely she'll be watching it once she's back from the office and i'm so very elated to share this video and i'm sure this is going to help so many more of you so to understand a twin flame you need to really understand who you are because each relationship whenever you are in that whether you are with a karmic whether you are with a soulmate whether you are with a high vibrational soulmate every relationship will feel like this is it whenever you are in a particular relationship that does feel like this is it and that's why we get into a relationship right like why would you even get into a relationship with someone if you do not resonate with that person somewhere deep down there was a connection there was a sense of attraction you felt with that person so that is why it's quite difficult to really understand who your twin flame is and be 110% like sure like this is it it's process your karmic can also have plethora of similarities with you your false twin flame your soul mates can also have plethora of similarities with you but however your twin flame will be different than the rest and here's how <laughs> moments when you feel anxious and worried to text someone suppose you are texting a new guy or you are talking to one of your exes when you were in a relationship maybe at times you kind of felt anxious maybe at times you felt like you couldn't be completely yourself you literally had to hold yourself back you literally were scared to speak your heart out because maybe they would judge you maybe they would tell you something that is awkward or they would just tell you something that would make you so upset that you had to change your point of view or because they were just trying to change your point of view all of that is not a twin flame relationship all of that is a very karmic very 3d relationship where there is manipulation A twin flame journey does not have manipulation. It's a free from manipulation relationship. Your twin flame will never make you feel awkward. Like things we you kind of feel awkward about to say around the other people, but you're even scared to speak it out because the other person is maybe going to shame you, make you feel ashamed. Your twin flame is going to make you feel comforted in all those places. Your twin flame will know how to love you in all those places and make you feel so so dead that you can literally be yourself in all those core aspects of yourself your twin flame will bring out your true interests and desires that maybe you have buried for years who you are at the core level who you are and who you have always been who you have desire to be what you truly resonate to within what you truly vibe within with your twin flame will remind you of your true vibe there's nobody on earth who can remind you of your true essence of your true vibe like your twin flame a karmic will remind you layers of you a karmic will bring out some layers of your divine true essence a false twin flame bring will bring out another part of your divine essence a soulmate will bring out another aspect of you but your twin flame will bring out the overall aspect of you and the core aspect of you that you truly are
beyond all of them. So it's a journey of really understanding from inside. It's a journey of recognizing truly from inside. And the main criteria is you need to have crystal clear vision of what kind of partner you are looking forward to attract. Be very clear about why you're trying to attract that kind of a partner. Go deeper with that understanding. Like when you are creating your love list. So for example, you want a guy who is, this is, this video is especially for one of my clients as I have said, and for everyone actually who is in the twin flame journey. But one of my clients who I was talking to last night, she really inspired this video. So I will give a little bit of her example. So suppose you are trying to attract someone who is financially well-to-do, who can take care of you, with whom you can really like feel secure, safe, and who is as successful as you are. That is a superficial layer of understanding. You have to really go deeper, like, all right, of course, you're going to like marry someone financially well off, but how is that person financially well off? What does that person do for a living? That's where a lot of, your, a lot of the answer is. Yes, now you, it can be like, uh, what if my twin flame is not willing to do their job? Maybe they want to leave their job. Maybe they want to start their spiritual business. There you are. So do you want to attract someone who has a spiritual business? Do you want to be with someone who is having a spiritual business? Do you want to be with someone who's walking the spiritual path, who's having a spiritual business, who's working on chakra activation, who's working on energy activation, who's working on transformation? And if that is so, what about it attracts you the most? Which realm of it pulls you the most? What about it so fascinates you that about the energetic realm, about the quantum realm you love to talk about? What about spirituality fascinates you the most? What aspect of spirituality do you resonate the most to? It goes that deep. So if you are interested in the quantum realm, and if you're interested in someone who's interested in AI, quantum technology, so you have to go really deeper with understanding that why. What, what about it really fascinates you? Like, I was always fascinated by computer. Like, I have loved quantum world. I have loved science. I love quantum computer. Like, I love technology. I really love AI. I love technology a lot. I love it. And I really like connecting science and spirituality, but I'm more on the science level. Like, I'm more connecting spirituality to science. To make people realize that how science is very spiritual and how science is already there and what you are being approved in the spiritual realm and given that green flag and merged and integrated and I'm really about biochemical energy, I'm really about inner energy, I'm really about shifts and connecting it to other aspects, connecting it to frequency, AI and I was always very fascinated by this realm and I wanted to connect to someone from this realm and I had to be very specific about it. Like I really want to attract someone who's interested in all of these and I attracted a person like that. Finally, I attracted my true twin claim and I'm still in the process of getting into my complete union. I'm in the process of it, but I have manifested to recognize my twin flame, which was also like, a, but my first twin flame was also somewhere similar, but not exactly similar. But my karmic on the contrary was interested in kind of my things, but exactly we were not like there, we were kind of there, but not there. So I've really gone through all of those paradigm so I can like vouch on this and I can tell you that there is a difference between your 
twin flame, a false twin flame, a soulmate or a karmic. And the easiest way to manifest your twin flame is what I'm about to share with you. Try it yourself and this is how I manifested my true twin flame. Do a lot of inner work. Do your inner work. Find who you are. Find what fascinates you. Find what you're interested in. Find what you're all about. Find out yourself. Get to know yourself. Get interested to get to know you. Get interested to explore yourself. Focus on your dreams. Focus on your desires. Focus on your wishes. Focus on your preferences. Focus on all that you like to do and more, more you focus on things you like more you focus on things you prefer the more and more people who are interested in things you prefer will start becoming a vibrational match to you this is one of the fastest and easiest ways to manifest your true twin flame by the way and have a love list like literally write down the characteristics of a guy you want to be with Literally jot down the characteristics of a guy. Literally be sure about what would you want to feel in their presence. Be very sure about what kind of a person they are. Be very sure about what career you probably want them to be in. Be very sure about what kind of lifestyle would you want them to live what kind of ideologies and belief systems you would want them to have, be very sure of them. And once you're sure of them, that is it. You have done the work. You have prepared yourself, but you have to be very honest about it. Like you can write love list. I have done that, which is not like from your authentic version, like, a love list which is not really from your authentic version but just a love list like you're just writing it because it's cool like other people are doing it your friends around are doing it and if you don't do it you will not be able to fit into the crowd you'll not be able to fit into the ideal version of manifesting a guy like the ideal benchmark of what kind of guy you want if you are determining it based on pure pressure, my love, you're going to be making a mess out of it. Like, you're going to be writing things, you're going to be asking the universe for characteristics of person which you are not interested in. Like, I literally once had created, this was in 2020, I had created a love list and I attracted a guy who was like 95% of my love list and when I figured it out, I was like, oh my God, I'm not interested in either of these characteristics. And I was not really interested in him romantically. And only to realize that, but I had prepared my love list and it was like on point, like he should be spiritual, he should be really into spirituality he should be a played in star seed he should be into the star seeds he should be into psychedelics he should smoke weed a lot he should drink he should party he should really be a cool person he, and these were the kind of list i had and i kid you not i attracted someone who was exact replica of that and i wasn't interested and that was like okay what is a love list then this is not just writing down what you would prefer but it's just going deeper what you would truly prefer without caring about what the other person thinks you should put in there do not care about what your mom is saying how your ideal partner should be like do not care about what your father is saying what your ideal partner's characteristics should be like do not care about what your coach is saying. Do not care what the friends are saying. Care about what you care about. Be very clear about what kind of a guy I want. Why? And be brutally honest and vulnerable about that process. 
like if you are not honest about it you are going to attract very superficial results like if you are not very sure of what kind of person you're attracting the kind of person you're sure of that you kind of want you're going to attract those kind of people and you'll be like yeah i kind of want this but i don't really want this like what is going on and that is exactly what i'm trying to help you with because i've done that several times in my life several times like i've had false twin flame i have had karmic i have had soulmate i have had high vibrational soulmate you name it i've gone through that journey and after all of those retrospection i reached a point where i was like hold on <laughs> it's not about love list it's about your most authentic love list it's about really speaking from your most authentic expression it's really showing up from your most authentic blueprint it's really showing up for the sake of you not because you have to show up that way because if you don't show up that way you do not really get to fit into the norms and jurisdictions of society and how one should be like and that way my friend finding your twin flame is going to be a dream far fetched i've been in this journey for over 6 and a half years and i'm telling this to you from personal experience to recognize your true twin flame you need to be brutally honest about who you are and you know the cost of not being brutally honest about who you are <laughs> of not being your authentic version okay, i'll tell you about that as well so you will go on attracting realities that you don't vibe with but you will feel like you want to put up with those realities because you have to put up with those realities because that's trendy or that's how it should be or other people are doing it and if you don't do it you'll not be able to fit in and that way you will be always in situations and relationships where you're there but not there to really let someone pierce through your soul talk to your soul touch you without touching you talk to you without talking to you feel someone's essence telepathically feel someone's energy far off even when you're not in their physical proximity the key to that is really to go within and find out who you are and it's not about your superficial interest it's about your core interests so i'll give you a difference between your superficial interest and core interest and this is what i was in to be stuck in my high vibrational soulmate journey and i was like everything is fine about the vibration high vibrational soulmate journey but <clears throat> why am i not having that feeling <clears throat> and that's when i kind of realized that it's not about like having a water relationship with a person with whom you just are compatible and settling because you're compatible that's more like a high definition arranged marriage <laughs> and that's not twin flame journey a twin flame journey does not mean that you are talking about breakthrough and your twin flame is talking about breakthrough you are talking about transcendental shift your twin flame is talking about transcendental shift it's about what transcendental shift are you talking about where is your transcendental shift happening what is the methodology of your transcendental shift what is the story beneath your transcendental shift what is the energy when it comes to breakthrough in you how do you see breakthrough what is a breakthrough to you where did you experience a breakthrough right now what kind of breakthrough are you looking forward to manifest what kind of win really makes you feel like it's a win 
and these are the kind of things you need to retrospect about you need to really really understand you really need to get an awareness of on a deeper note to completely realize that who you truly are you're not just the superficial layers you're not the transcendent shift you're the energy beneath the transcendent shift you're also the transcendent shift but the methodology with which you experience the transcendent shift is different from the methodology another person experience because you transcended out of something that other person did not transcend out of at this point what you are exactly experiencing and what about that experience you are integrally focusing on what about that experience truly fascinates you and how do you connect to that experience on a deeper note and how do you see that energy on the deepest essence goes deeper my friend and you really need to go that deep to get this clarity and one of the easiest way out is to journal your heart out write your heart out every day talk your heart out every day and write answers to who you really are who do you think truly you are what is it that you are truly interested in but you are like shy to admit like a lot of times we really shy to admit like i don't know if my friend flame is going to watch this and i don't care if he watches it i'm not feeling very awkward and i want to face this energy and talk about it actually i was so shy to admit that i like a guy who's it could be from the studying computer background like do you see the way i was fumbling right now to even say that so i had so much of inhibition to even accept that because i was like no i don't know i should be liking someone from the spiritual background i have to like someone from my industry how i mean, i felt literally obligated to like someone from my industry and here i was talking about quantum dynamic 8 i'm obsessed with quantum dynamic 8 and fascinated about a lot of aspects and i was hiding and my hiding was so prominent that i was like laughing at my way of hiding with something so normal and that hiding too was because i just didn't want to settle for something that society thinks is like ideal and all of that and i really thought that oh maybe it's just a thought because parents think like that and then i really had to go deeper with my childhood interest with what truly fascinated me what was really my energy that made me really fascinated about studies my fascinated about life fascinated about information fascinated about everything and that kind of led me to a point of realization ultimately to even admit it to myself that okay i like a guy who's into ai and there's nothing to be ashamed of it and that's the extent to which i had been programmed in the spiritual consciousness to not go for anyone into ai hate ai hate the cloth that i was like oh my god am i making a mistake am i like an inorganic one to choose that am i choosing a 5d 3d split to choose that and the answer was no and my story is something quite intriguing i know because it's the other way around right for most people but i have been inside for like forever in my life and because i came from a family where there was a lot of trauma a lot of hindrances a lot of triggers so i had a lot of inner work and that was when i started to really connect dots from connecting to stuff and and that is when i kind of became a nerdy chick <laughs> as a child and being that person there were certain things that fascinated me all my life 
and a point came where i didn't know what is that i should be fascinated with because women should be fascinated by literature pretty gemini girls should be interested in literature oh i'm so good in english i should be interested in literature or philosophy or psychology and um, i cannot really truly take interest in science but what do i even know about it all of those limiting beliefs were surfacing up and eventually i was like okay there you are i need to work on all of you to really get to the point of realizing who my true twin flame is so that is how deep this work is so you really have to work on aspects that are coming up so if your twin flame is someone you think is your twin flame and you're just thinking about it because you're feeling that connection feeling that heart to heart connection and they're never responding to you they never revert back to your messages they never come back after you do the inner work they are not your twin flame <laughs> they are a karmic or a false twin flame i'm not saying you can't manifest them you can manifest anyone on earth you have to put in a lot more effort to manifest a karmic or a false twin flame or a soulmate compared to a twin flame manifesting a twin flame is like this you do the inner work they show up you do the inner work they show up you do the inner work they meet you exactly where you have done the inner work and where you are inside being with your twin flame is easier than being with anyone on earth honestly being with your soulmate a lot of people think is easier but being with your soulmate is boring because your soulmate is literally you twin flame is not literally you your twin flame is your complement your twin flame is not like you exactly is not your replica your soulmate is your replica like you are saying you're drinking water your soulmate is drinking water but your drinking water and your twin flame is drinking water is not the kind of mirroring that is with your true twin flame your true twin flame mirrors you so it's a reflection of you is a reflection of who you are within your true twin flame is a reflection of your truth that you're hiding from and your true twin flame comes to your life and you're in the path of finding who you are and you cannot run away from your true authenticity and finding who you are like living a life running away from your authentic self is like is going to drain you is going to make you feel like come back again and again and being with your karmic or false twin flame or any of those connection will never feel like it's fulfilling during that state of relationship it can feel like oh it's so fulfilling it's so perfect and you can be married to a karmic or a soulmate or a false twin flame by the way i was in a love relationship with my karmic so there are twin flames whose twin flames are like currently married to their karmic and all of that like if you're wondering like if your twin flame is in a karmic relationship trust me they don't vibe it looks like they kind of vibe on certain level but as they really work on that aspect so i'll give you an example say you and your karmic really vibe with each other because you guys connect to each other because you both have a dream to start business and both of you meet when you are starting your business i'm not saying that this cannot be a twin flame or you cannot stay with the karmic you can stay with anyone on earth it's a choice but you come in contact with this person you both are on the same path you both want to start your business you both want to work on your soul path so you bo- both work on your soul path till a certain junction and then your business path their business path their interest your interest their choices your choices start to clash they're interested in something else you're interested in something else they're trying to change you you're trying to change them and then both of your ways part the vibration falls apart you go about your way they go about their way but the quantum entanglement continues you continue to have that energy of the remnant because of that entanglement that has happened because you were already there so for a while even though you guys are walking to parallel paths their choices 
seem like somewhere is connected to you and most of the time you will feel like so maybe your karmic is dating a lot of people you may feel like okay they are dating this so and so person because this person is connected to me in certain vibration in certain version of me in another timeline and he's just trying to heal out of that aspect because i'm healing in that aspect it can be true that you are healing that particular aspect and a person who he is dating is kind of giving a vibe of that phase of your life and that can feel is true and eventually you realize as you have healed through the path as you've worked on certain aspects and as you've started to choose yourself that they are seeking for you but in someone else they are following the path of your evolution journey like you and i are like all of us are in this ascension journey but their choices are evolving as per you but they're not really at the same intensity or they're not really at the same page and that's kind of a little example but then this was quite a superficial example i mean i can understand that back then in my days of confusion this superficial example would not really suffice so i'll go a little deeper with the karmic then i'll come to the false twin flame as well so suppose you are a person who is right now going through healing and transformation and finding yourself finding your true essence finding who you truly are your karmic will show you the most superficial possibility for example you are a relationship coach for example and you are like wondering that how could you even change your niche what can you do to level up your business and you may end up seeing that your karmic is following someone who's in the relationship coach business but deep down you don't want to be a relationship coach but you are just being that because for the sake of being it but your karmic is following that person kind of to help you you think to evolve there or to trigger you whatever but that is the kind of an aspect where things fall apart when you finally find yourself their choices you'll feel is more on one layer because they're just connecting to you on that layer so for example my karmic was connecting to me only on layers of pili system clearing so as i had gone really deep with the clearing process and as i had reached a junction of being pretty clear about what my bigger picture looked like we started to fall out of vibration and with the false twin flame on the contrary it will be like they'll feel like they're on the same page with you initially it will really click initially it will really feel like this is the one you see like plethora of signs and synchronicities you'll be like filled with signs everywhere but ultimately eventually you reach a point where it'll feel like it's not vibing you like fall apart like you may get into your first twin flame usually comes to awaken you to your spirituality and prepare you in your spiritual path so when you get deeper into spirituality and they choosing that 3d realm and they completely in a different realm that's kind of when you kind of completely fall apart and that's completely when you go within and get into your inner world get into your path of high vibrational soulmates and finding your true self and finding people who are like you and through finding people who are like you through all of that you start to 
figure out your core reflection, your core shadows, your unconscious aspects, your hidden secrets, your fetishes, your true desires which you are hiding. And your twin flame is exactly that, that you're hiding from. The kind of guy you want to date, but you're like, no, no, I don't want to date because you're kind of shy. That's your twin flame. <laughs> and the kind of guy you're settling for because feels like you finishing your sentence is exactly a replica of you, is your soulmate. A soulmate is very easy to understand and make you realize and with soulmate you can have like lifetime connection it's a good friendship you just connect to them they just vibe with you but it's not romantic always it's mostly platonic with your twin flame you'll not be able to contend that physical intimacy but with karmic also by the way it can feel that way with false twin flame also it can feel that way but with your twin flame, the physical intimacy attraction level will be at a different level compared to your karmic or a false twin flame. And most people, I think, get stuck to differentiate a karmic from a twin flame rather than a false twin flame from a twin flame. Because in my journey also, most of the realm I was stuck in was to get out of a karmic relationship and to really figure out that, okay, that was a karmic and it was a mirroring going on of a narcissist. And empath narcissist dynamic is what karmic is all about. So that is one thing to decode. And the day you figure out, out of your one part that your karmic is, your karmic just reflects one dot of your vortex. So from that dot, the day you start to identify the entire ocean, your karmic falls apart. Your karmic is just reflecting a part of your respect. Your karmic brings forward a part of your lesson. An inch of the entire lesson, which is a very important lesson though, the lesson that evolves you to do the inner work, evolves you to go through releasing the patterns and find out who you are, a connection that comes to really challenge you, a connection that really triggers you and introduces you to the inner conflicts is a karmic relationship. And it's not going to be, I would say, easy to find that difference between karmic or a twin flame or a soulmate, but it's a process. But the hashtag key to recognize your twin flame is to recognize you without trying to figure out who you are based on who you have become in the ascension journey. The ascension journey is a part of your healing journey. And you got in here because you got brutally traumatized, you got brutally hurt, you went through repeated triggers and this is a journey of your healing. You're going through your healing process. So once you're healed, the person who has healed, who's not having the trauma, who's not having the solar flares, who's not getting the triggers, who's not going through those uncertainties anymore, who's in a better state, who's in a stable state compared to before, who does that person resonate to? What is that person's interest? What intrigues that person? What about your past timelines? Do you want to really include? What about your past timelines? Do you don't want to include? What about your current reality? Do you really want to incorporate? What about your current reality? You don't want to incorporate. You really have to go deeper with those question answers to really reflect on those to come to a state of realization of understanding your core values your core principles your core preferences and that is the way to figure out who you truly are and to find out who you truly are you have to forget from seeing yourself from spirituality you are not spirituality you are not metaphysics. You are not anything on the outer surface. You are the essence of it. 
so the essence of it with that essence how are you playing with that as essence what is your inner play like what is your inner game what is your inner play what is the inner vibe and energy that you play with what is your inner language of energy what is your inner language of synergy what is the language that you simulate it and flow in and what is the language of your divine feminine essence or divine masculine essence what is the language that you flow in what is the language that you vibe in what is the language that you really resonate to at the core what is the vibe that you carry the flow of within what is the energy that you really feel a reverberation of in every corner of your being and that is where your answer is your inner path your inner movements your inner shifts your thoughts inner movement your inner choices resonance desires preferences interests are all that is that who you are within and that nobody else cannot nobody else can determine on the outside but on the inside you have to figure it out and once you figure that out you will know what you exactly want and when you know what you exactly want what you exactly prefer what really fascinates you the most you will manifest your true twin flame thank you and love and light to you how wonderful they had